further debate, I recognize the member from Guelph. Speaker, it's an honour to rise to participate in third reading debate on Bill 84, which I'm happy to change the name for, for the government to the Fewer Fees to Cut Public Services Act. I want to be very clear, Speaker, I will not be supporting this bill. I will not mince my words and I will not equivocate why I'm absolutely opposed to this bill. Schedule 6 removes $1.1 billion from our collective pockets. That's $1.1 billion that could help the 1 million Ontarians who are facing surgical and diagnostic backlog, or to help people who are waiting up to 2.5 years to access mental health services, or the people to support the people on ODSP who are living in crushing poverty, well below the poverty line at $1,169 a month, or the families with special needs children who are begging and desperately needing access to early intervention services and supports, or to pay fair wages to the frontline healthcare heroes who are underpaid, overworked, and underappreciated, or to support the families with loved ones who are in long-term care who are saying, we can't wait until 2025 to receive the staffing support needed to provide a minimum of four hours of care, or the small businesses who are asking for expanded eligibility criteria under the Ontario Small Business Support Grant, or the young families who need access to affordable child care, or the people desperately searching for a deeply affordable place to call home. Speaker, we're told over and over again that there's not money available to provide these essential public services for people. Well, I believe deeply in fiscal responsibility, the responsibility to say we will provide these services for people and we'll be honest with people about how to pay for it. So Schedule 6, let's be clear, it takes $1.1 billion out of our collective pockets, the pockets that we as Ontarians put to government to pay for the public services that we all rely on to live in great communities, to have access to high-quality health care and long-term care. So that's the choice I will make when I vote against this bill. And I quickly, and it's partly because the minister is here, I just want to put on the record with Schedule 11, the Center for Realty Excellence. My hope, my request of government is that when we sell public lands, that it goes to nonprofit co-op housing providers so they can provide affordable housing for people in this province. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Question and response. I recognize the member from Niagara West. Thank you very much, Speaker. And I listened with great intent to the uh, member from Guelph and the leader of uh, the Green Party today. And as as uh, the leader spoke about, or as the member opposite spoke about the importance of uh, uh, of increasing revenues. Of course, I, I understand that uh, the member is actually speaking about removing more money from the pockets of hardworking Ontarians. And so my question to the member opposite when he's um, waxing eloquent about uh, the harms of Schedule 6 is, has the member from Guelph ever met or seen a tax, a surcharge, or a government fee that he didn't like? Response, I return to the member from Guelph. The, the member from Guelph loves our public health care system and wants it to be improved. The member for Guelph wants to stand up for elders and wants to see our long-term care homes have adequate staffing in place to provide four hours of care. The member from Guelph wants people to have a deeply affordable home available to them. The member from Guelph does not want people on ODFP and Ontario Works living in deep poverty. $1.1 billion that can be going into the pockets of Ontarians to create a better, fairer, more equitable and just province this license fee should stay. Question response. I recognize the member from Ottawa Centre. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, I'm just wondering to, to ask the member from Guelph if he's aware of the civic hospital project underway in our city. It's another example of this government's mismanagement of public funds. They are proposing, Speaker, if you can believe it, at a time when Ottawa desperately needs a new hospital. Do you know what stage one of this project is going to be? A 2,400-space parking garage plopped right across from Dow's Lake. 
That's what a civic hospital looks like to this government. So I'm asking the member from Guelph, who I know your federal leader has spoken out against this project, will you today also speak out against this project? We need smart infrastructure. We need good spending. We need a hospital in Ottawa, not a planetary-sized parking garage. What does the member think? Thank you. I turn to the member from Guelph. I absolutely oppose building a big parking garage when people desperately need access to health care services. The limited government funds that we have needs to be spent in the most fiscally responsible way, and that's providing access to health care. Why we're at it, I've been told by folks in Windsor that are planning on building a hospital way outside of the city that if you don't own a car, you can't access. We need to be building hospital infrastructure and health care infrastructure in communities, in connected, livable communities, where people of all abilities and all means can access them in a way that's equitable and that promotes community health. Thank you. I recognize a member from Eglinton Lawrence. Thank you, Speaker. It appears that the member opposite, uh, the, the member from Guelph, is arguing that taxes and fees somehow put more money into the pockets of his constituents, and he'd like to maximize the taxes and fees that his constituents have to pay. Uh, under the Del Duca Liberals, supported by the, uh, the opposition NDP, the cost for license plate stickers increased by 62 per cent in a five-year period for Southern Ontario residents, such as those in the, the riding of the member for Guelph. Is the member from Guelph suggesting that this is somehow helped his residents by asking them to pay more fees and taxes? Turn to the member from Guelph. My constituents, Speaker, they want a new hospital in Guelph. They want to see the portable that is sitting in the front of our hospital being used for emergency services. Can you imagine, Speaker, we have a portable because our hospital is underfunded. They want to see public dollars going into a stronger health care system. I have residents reaching out desperate for their loved ones to have four hours of care and long-term care. Now, not in 2025, right now. My constituents understand that if we are going to have responsible public services, we have to be honest about how to pay for them. Yes, the money needs to be spent in a responsible way. And I'll agree with you that the previous Liberal government didn't always deliver on that responsibility, but I also feel like we have a responsibility to the people of this province to be honest about the services Response? we want to deliver and how we're going to pay for them, and license fees is one way in which we can pay for those services. And even with fast-speaking people in this house, there's not time enough for another question and a response. Further debate. 